And here we go with the Ultimate Python Turtle Graphics Game Tutorial Part 15 Drawing Text. So let me show you what I mean by what we're going to do in this particular lesson. So I'm going to go back to the demo. And I'm going to run that real quick. And what I'm talking about is this text here. Okay, so you can see this is kind of an old school looking text. Everything's made out of straight lines. And I custom designed this myself. And you may be wondering why would I do something like that? So let me get rid of that. And the reason is uh, that even though there is a built-in text method to draw text to the screen, it really slows down the program. I don't know why, it just does. Uh, if you've seen the introductory videos for this, I talked about it at length and I did some comparisons, so I'll try to remember to put the link down below. It's pretty interesting stuff, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make your own custom font and draw it. So let's get started. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to be creating a new class. And I'm going to call this character pin. I'm not calling class. Character pin. Okay. And it is not a child of any other class. I'm going to leave that blank. I could also just leave it like that. It doesn't really matter. But I like to put the parentheses there. And when we initialize it, what I want to do is put self. And then I want to say color. And watch what I do here. I can't, I can't remember if I've done this earlier in this tutorial or not. And scale equals, let's see, 1.0. And some or colon there. I've been doing a lot of C++ and C programming. So you might see me throw a few uh, semicolons in here and there where they don't belong in Python. And so what I've done here is I've said that we need a color and we need a scale. But by setting these default values, I've actually made them optional. So which is kind of pretty cool. I'm going to say self.color equals color. And I'm going to say self.scale equals scale. Okay. Now, I need to create a dictionary to hold all of my character data. So now this is actually the long, hard part of this whole thing. It's not hard, it's just time consuming. So for example, what I want to do is I want to make a character and I'm going to make characters for the let number one. Okay. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to encode it in a tuple as a series of tuples representing X relative x, y coordinates. And I'll explain that in a second here. Um, so let me just leave that like that. And I'm going to go over to this. So what I did was in my mind, I said, okay, I'm going to make a default size for my characters. And I want them to be taller than they are wider. And I just came up with 10 wide by 20 tall. So I basically have this imaginary border here. So now in the case of the, the numeral one, what I want to do is I want to start here and I'm going to go over to here. So I'm going to go ahead and color that in. And I just did this all kind of in my head. Um, again, I'm not a font designer, but it kind of, kind of worked. And then I went over to here. And the way I have this working is it's got to be so that you don't pick up the pen. Okay, and that, that was that was a challenge in some cases. So there's my one. Now I could have you know put it here and then gone up. I could have added a little bit extra, but that's what I want to do. So what we have to look at are the starting and ending points. So I'm gonna go ahead and color those in. I'll say make those orange so we know where and what they are. And again, it doesn't really matter exactly where you start as long as you can get there without picking up the pen. Now, I, I know a way to get around that, but for this exercise, since I've already done it once, I'll just leave it this way. So what I want to do is, if you remember, 0, 0 was our center. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the pen at wherever the center is, negative 5 and 10. So I'm going to start here. Then I'm going to go to 0, 10. I'm going to go to 0, negative 10. I'm going to go to negative 5, negative 10 and then 5, negative 10. So these are just the x, y coordinates of the start and end of each line. Okay. So I've already done this in the other code, so there's no point in me 
typing everything over again. But let me let me just do that part with you again. So it was negative five, ten. Okay, then I went back to zero, ten. Then I went to zero, negative ten. Then I went to negative five, comma negative ten. And then I went to plus five, negative ten. So those are the x, y coordinates again of these spots. So basically what I did, so it's, we're going to be drawing the lines. It's actually way, way faster to draw these lines than it is to actually render the text normally, which is, which is shocking. So I have all the characters. Now, I'm not going to sit through and go through them all. I've already done it. And so I'm just going to go ahead and copy that from my original version. So here's my one, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. And I didn't do all the characters. I just did the ones that I felt that I needed for the program. But you can feel free to go through and do whatever you like. And so I'll put this code in you know, the link down below so you're not like trying to copy this from the screen because that would be crazy. Um, so this part here, again, it's just x and y, relative x and y coordinates from the center. And the relative part's really important because we don't know where we're going to be drawing the characters on the screen. So that's the first part. So I've defined all of my shapes. Okay. Now there's a way to do this with the built-in turtle module, but because I want this to be modular, I want to, I want to be able to port this to other platforms. I want to maybe port it to Pygame or something else like that. I use these numbers the way I did them. Okay, so uh, next thing is I need a, a method to draw a character. And so what I got to do is I got to do self because again this is inside of a class. Then I need to do I need a pen. So what pen am I going to be using to draw it with? I need the character and I need its x and y coordinate. Now this x and y coordinate is the center of that character. So remember, we're looking at this center. So all my x, y coordinates that I just entered are relative to the center. So if the center is actually at 0, 0 on the screen, then of course it's very easy to calculate these. But if we put a character over here on the screen, Again, we have to calculate a little differently based on its starting location. So I need to set the scale okay, because we might want some characters to be bigger than others. And what I've done is to make sure I do this character equals character dot upper. Okay? And what that does is it makes sure that every character is uppercase because if you look here, I've only defined uppercase characters. I haven't defined lowercase characters, so we, we can't really use them. But actually, I'll talk about that in a minute. I, I do have a way around that. So what we need to do then is, first, I'm going to check if the character is in the, is in the dictionary of characters. Because otherwise, we'll get an error. So if character in self.characters, Otherwise, we'll get an error. I'm going to say pen.pen up because we have to move to the start. And I'm going to say xy, watch what I do here, equals self.characters, characters, character, okay, it is character. It's a little complicated in here. Um, zero. So xy equals self.characters character 0. And what that does, if so if my character is a 1, it gives me this set of coordinates. So my xy is negative 5, 10. Okay, so what I can do here is now I'm going to say pen.go to, and it is x plus x, y, 0. Now watch this one. Times scale. Okay, in this case, scale is 1, so don't worry about that one. And y plus x, y, 1 times scale. Okay. Let me explain that real quick. And I think, yeah, we're good there. Okay. So I've taken this x coordinate, so wherever I want to draw it on the screen, so this is the screen x plus the relative x, y, 0, which is, in this case, 
it's going to be the first number, so this is the x. So in this case it would be minus 3, so the center minus 3, times the scale. So if it's double scale, it would be minus 6. So I can actually make it any size font out of this, which is pretty cool. And then I go to the screen y coordinate, plus xy1, which gives me, in this case it would be a 0, times scale, which is 0. So that's the center of that particular object. So I'm going to go to the starting point, okay, and then I'm going to say pen dot pen down. So now I'm going to put my pen down. So if I go back to here, wrong, if I go back to here in Firefox, it's going to put me right here. So now I just got to draw all of my lines. So you're going to see a little uh, loop here. So for i in range, oops, i in range, that's index in this case, i in range, I thought this one was a little complicated, one, because I'm starting at this character, or this set of coordinates, not this set of coordinates, I'm starting at one, and then I'm going to the length, self.characters, character, so the length of that particular character, because in this case you can see a minus only has two, but a z has one, two, three, and four, there's four different lines. And then all I gotta do is go, actually I just basically just copy this. I can go, I can just copy this whole thing because I'm gonna be doing the same thing. Just put xy equals self characters, pen dot go to scale. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna say pen dot pen up. So that way I can go to the next character. Wow. Okay, why don't we go ahead and test that just, just to see if it's working. Um, well, first let me run this and see if there's any syntax errors. And this is always a good practice uh, to test things. Uh, where are we at here? Function F5. Okay. Sorry, it's been a while since I've used this because I've been, like I said, I've been programming C. Okay. All right, so it's still working. That's a good sign. I'm happy about that. So let's go ahead and just draw a character somewhere on the screen. So what I have to do is I have got to create a character pen somewhere in my game. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to, I'm going to put it right here just to make it easy. And I'm going to say character pen okay, equals character pen. Note the capitalization. And what I want it to do, I'm going to make my letters, I can go ahead and make my letters red. But I'll tell you what, let's just, let's just leave it as it is. Okay, so, and well, actually, let's, go, let's go ahead and do red. And let's do a scale of 3.0. Okay, so we'll make it kind of bigger on the screen. And then I can say character pen. Actually, if I do that, it's gonna get erased. So let's go ahead and, so I'm gonna go down to my main loop. And just before update, see, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put it here and I'll explain why in a little bit. Say, so draw the text, draw text here. So I'm gonna say character pen pen dot draw character and I'll just put it in the middle uh, so I think it was pen so it says here self pen character XY okay so I'm gonna draw I'll just draw a big X in the center of the screen and we'll put it zero zero okay so let's test that and see what happens okay character pen has no attributes draw character now what did I do wrong character pen draw character I spelled it wrong character no I didn't um, character pen object. So let's go up to the class character pen. Okay, def. Oh, because this is indented. So that was indented wrong. My bad. Okay, very common mistake here. People email me constantly about indentation errors. I have a little video about it. That's what I'm going to send you if, you if you email me about an indentation problem. So because it was indented under this, it was never actually defined. So let's go ahead and try that again. Cat curse. Okay, so how many of you guys saw that before I did? Okay, 141 characters. Okay, and this is why we test our code. So function f5. Okay, and I do not see my x. I do see this. Okay, so something's gone wrong, unfortunately. Um, so it is working, but it's not drawing it how we would like it to draw it. 
So let's go ahead and take a look here. And can I pen yourself character? Okay, and let me make sure I did that correctly over here, down here. Okay, pen capital X zero zero. That is where I want it. And so let's go ahead and make sure, let's make sure A that we have an X, which I think is pretty safe to assume. Um, it'd be funny if I just forgot the X. No, there's the X, that's a good sign. And then scale, you know, we did that, Get that upper character in self.characters. Now if you've solved it, good for you. Um, ah, okay, that's where I went wrong. Character I. Okay, that should be an I there, not a zero. That's one of the dangers when you copy and paste if you forget to make the necessary changes. Because I don't want to draw it from the first set of coordinates to the first set of coordinates to the first set of coordinates. I'm going to draw it from here to here to here to here. Okay, so again, now notice, you know, I made a mistake. I just looked through the code, and there's only one possible place where this problem could have been. It was either in the class or it was down in the other statement. So uh, that, let that be a good lesson on debugging. Okay, and there is my big X on the screen. It's a little bit big. Um, so that's that's stage one. So that lets us draw a character on the screen. But what we need to do, this is sorry, this is a bit of a long one, is we also need to be able to draw multiple characters on the screen. So I'm going to say def draw. I'm going to call it draw string, and it's going to be self of course pen. And then we're going to be drawing a string. So it might be a, you know, a word like player or something like that. And then again, x, y. Now in this case, this x, y is going to be, uh, just to make life easy, is going to be the center of that string. Okay, so watch what I do here. So I'm going to set the pen dot width uh, to two pixels. I'm going to say pen dot color to self dot color. So that's whatever color I set my object to earlier. And watch what I do here. I'm going to center the text. Now if you recall, the width of the character okay, was 0 to, so it was 10. Okay? So what I need to do then is I need to add a little bit of extra space between the characters. So what I'm doing is it's going to be 10 plus five more. So there'll be a, a little bit of a gap between the characters. It'll be uh, you know, consistent between each characters. So I'm going to say x minus equals okay, 15, oops, 15 times self dot scale, oops, scale, times, yeah, because we might make it bigger. So self dot scale times the length of the string minus one and divided by two. Now again, I've calculated this all out ahead, that's why I know it, um, but it took me a very long time to get this to work. So basically we're looking at the length of the string. So if there's 10 characters, okay, we're gonna move all the way to the left by nine divided by two characters width, so four and a half. Um, again, I just calculated this. It works out really, really well. You can play with that if you feel it doesn't, you don't like it. So then once we've set the starting point, the X starting point, the Y is not going to change. We're going to say for character in STR. And then watch this, self.drawCharacter. We're going to use this method here, pen character. And then it's going to be x comma y. So the y doesn't change. The y is always going to be the center and of where we, we told it. And then we say x plus equals 15 times self dot scale. And that's it. So this, this little piece of code will let us draw text anywhere on the screen. So I'm going to test this out by going down to my thing here. So instead of draw a character, I'm going to draw a string. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, call it at to Tokyo Ed Tech. Okay. And let's see what happens. So I'm gonna try, hopefully that'll draw that right in the center of the screen. And there we go. There is my font that I created and it stays on the screen. Yeah, again, we don't want it there for now, but um, it is something.
I see how this got changed. You might want to fix that later. Um, but anyway, so that, whoops, sorry. I accidentally stopped the screen recording there. So I think I was saying, so that is how we, you know, put some text on the screen centered. Okay. So what we got to do is to use that to display that side, that's, I don't know what you want to call it, side panel. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run this and show you. Okay, I'm going to get past that. So what I want to do is I want to work on this section here. So I want to put the game name here. I'm going to put score, enemies, lives, and level. Okay, so I'm going to close that. And, uh, okay, now let's get rid of that sound. So what I want to do is in my game class. Oops, I want to go back to Space Arena 15 here. Sorry, that was the demo. So in my game class, which is way up the top, I'm just going to click here. I'm tired of scrolling. So you see where we have render border. I'm also going to make a method called render info. So I'm going to say def render info. And that's going to be self. And I'm going to say pen score. And I think later I'm going to add active enemies. But I think for now I don't really have that. Uh, I don't have, we haven't calculated that yet. So I'm going to go pen.color. And again, this is just the color that I used. And you can use HTML hex codes. So this is that, that blue color that I chose. Pen dot pen up and pen dot go to. Now again, I, I calculated all these things a long time ago when I did the demo. So I just had to play around with it uh, until I got it right. Okay, so I'm gonna make a, a pen shaped square. I'm going to say pen.set heading to 90. And this will make sure that the square is aligned vertically and horizontally. And then pen.shape size, I'm going to set it to 10 by 32 and no outline. Okay. And I'll, you'll see what that does in a second. I'm going to put pen.stamp. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to go all the way back down here. And I'm going to say, I'm going to get rid of this thing because I don't need it anymore. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say game.renderInfo. Oops, I think it was pen. And I think the score, we'll say the score was zero. We'll say enemies was zero as well. So I'm going to go ahead and run that and see what happens. Bad color string. Okay, I've got too many uh, things there. Game render info. And this is where this starts to come in handy so you're not you know, scrolling constantly. I put too many twos in there. So let's try that again. Okay, so that gives us this thing over here. And now you can see we still have the radar. Now, as you see, the problem with the radar is now invisible. Um, so let me go ahead and find, where did I do the radar? So radar, 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 yeah, render. Okay, and where is the circle at? Uh, draw radar circle. So I forgot to set the color. So I'm gonna say pen.color white okay, so let's test it okay and there's the the border of our radar now the reason earlier uh, I think I mentioned it in passing was I, I didn't put the rate I put this before I put the radar because if I do that watch what happens if I run it now the radar is hidden it's actually behind this big this big panel okay so we're, we're putting stuff on top of stuff on top of stuff. So the order that we render is really important. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that, put that back where it belongs. And so now I just need to finish up this render info method. Okay, so I'm gonna go back up to game and render info. Oops, where was it? Uh, there it is. So then Watch what I do here. I'm going to say pen.color white and oh actually I'm going to put the, I'm going to put that line there for you. pen.width3 pen.go to uh, 300 400. And again, I calculate all these things earlier. pen.pen down and I say pen.go to uh, 300 negative 400. Okay, so let's just run that just so I'll show you what I did. Okay, so what I did is I put this 
down here. And so now we have like a nice panel. And then like notice, even though I move this around, I don't see it because this is drawn after this section of the screen. It's there, it's just you don't see it because we drew all this on top of that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so, and then the next part we gotta do is pen dot pen up, pen dot color white, I'm gonna put, put it to white. May not matter actually. Pen dot go to, what the heck does this one do? 400 comma 250. I'm not sure what this is. And pen dot go to, I'm not sure why I'm doing this. Um, yeah, I don't think I need that. Let's, let's get rid of those. I have them in the original program, but I think I don't need those anymore. So let's try this. So then I'm just gonna start drawing stuff. So I'm gonna say my character pen dot scale equals 1.0. So I don't want my, my uh, text to be too soft. So I'm gonna say character pen dot draw string. Okay. Pen, I'm gonna say space arena. And that's gonna be at 400, 270. 400, 270. Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and test it. So that works, then we can use that as a model. And there is my space arena text. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and draw all the rest of the stuff. Some of this may or may not work because the program's not done yet, but let's let's give it a shot. And so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that, delete that. Like that, so I can just copy and paste it. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I know this is, this is a pretty long one, but uh, it's I think it's pretty interesting how this worked out. I mean, I spent so much time. <laughs> I mean, I spent like a couple days on this thing. This was crazy. Score, so score, and oops, I can't do that one. Parentheses dot format um, score. And we'll, we'll, add, we'll, we'll fix all this stuff later. And again, I just played around with the numbers till I got what I needed. And that one. And then the next one is gonna be enemies. And you can see here why I used, uh, what did I call this? Active enemies. You can see why I used the centering because it makes it easier. And we can make that an option if we wanted to. That's something we can code later. Uh, enemies, lives. And actually, I'm gonna leave it like that. You'll, you'll see there's gonna be some, some problems here. Format, uh, what did I put here? Player.lives, did we do lives yet? Uh, I'm kind of losing track because I haven't done anything on this for a week because I've been so busy with grad school. Um, 180, and again, I'm just kind of copying this from what I did before. And I think level is the last one. And dot format, I think it was game dot level. And that one's gonna go at 400, 150, 400, 150. I think it was 30 between each of those. Okay, and then this one we don't need. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run this. I'm gonna show you where there's a slight problem in the program, something's missing, but we'll fix that in a sec. Invalid syntax, character pen, draw, string, And draw a string. And that is line 104. Okay, so probably what I do is I missed a parenthesis. Yep, missed a parenthesis. Okay, and yeah, let's try it again. Okay, and there we have our text. Okay, well, actually, okay, so everything did print out, which is kind of cool. Um, I forgot I'd fix that. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to give the ability to actually print lowercase letters. Okay. And that's a very easy fix. So I'm going to go down to my character class. And what I can do here is I can go if character in a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. So if the character is in that list of lowercase characters, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say self.scale times equals 0 0.8. So I'm gonna temporarily, oops, not self.scale, I'm gonna say scale. 
So I'm going to make the lowercase character 80% the size of the uppercase character. That's it. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that. And you can see now they are a little bit lower. You may not like that effect. Um, you might, you might not. It's just really up to you. Um, so I'm going to go back down to the bottom here, or sorry, I'm going to go back up to the top here, and in the render, I'm just going to make everything capitalized. I think it looks a little bit better, to be honest. But it does have that option if you'd like to use it. And I think that's really it for this particular lesson. This is a long one, um, so I'm going to go ahead and just run it real quick, show you one more time what we did. So we went ahead and we created a character pen class. We created a character pen. We made some methods such as draw a character. We defined our characters as XY coordinates or changes or delta X and delta Y really from the center of the character space. And then we drew it going across using the draw string method. Okay, so again, this this whole this whole program here, 15, it'll be in the, the GitHub, the link is below. I'll put the actual just this. Actually, you can just go ahead and copy it from there. Um, if you want to try it yourself, you can go ahead and just copy this out of there as well and it'll keep it simple for everybody. Okay, and that is it. That is how we draw our own custom font. So you can go ahead and make your own custom font, which is really, it's actually really fun to do. And you can really, really customize it to look as awesome as you would like. Okay, so I hope uh, you learned a lot. Stay tuned for more, subscribe for updates, and click like. Thanks, bye-bye.